All right, YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you Ignition. Log me in Ignition for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, this can go on the iPod Touch on Wi-Fi and the, I the iPhone on um, your cellular network. The free account, you the free account, you can have it as long as you the only thing you don't get uh, is the ability to print wirelessly, the ability for sound to come from the remote computer to the from the host computer to the remote computer. Um, you can't file transfer or anything like that. Pretty much everything else. Pretty much everything else. You can blank the screen of the remote computer. You can or the host computer. You can lock the host keyboard and you can do a bunch of stuff. I I recommend just trying it. But uh, for the iPhone or iPod Touch, now I got to try it today because I bought the iPhone app for thirty dollars right here, and it's probably one of the best programs I've ever gotten on my iPod. Now it shows on right here for a Mac, but it does Windows Seven piece. Uh, it does all, all PC. So PC and Mac. See, this is on the PC. Okay, now I'm going to switch from this on screen computer to my camera. Now, I'm going to show you log me in on the iPod Touch. This is the iPod Touch first generation. Um, I'm on local Wi-Fi, of course, because that's all I can do. So here, right here in the beginning is where you log in, and I don't really want you to see any of my credentials, like my email. So I'm just gonna log in. And I'm going to pick. Okay, those are my brothers, my desktop, and my laptop. Now I'm going to pick, let's say, my desktop. You can kind of hear my desktop because it's kind of loud. It's working itself, so. Good time. And it has Windows XP Home Edition. Now I'm pretty surprised at all the options they give you for just the ignition. They give you almost all the same controls as um, remote desktop from the computer. And my favorite options is locking. Watch. Here is my whole entire screen. Okay. Now my favorite thing is locking the screen. So blank screen. Turn that on. See, blanks the whole screen. That says. All right, and then when I unblank it, it'll still stay black, stay black until I move the mouse again. Now I can keep it blanked. If I leave this on, I blank the screen, and I can move the mouse and it will not go back. Also, there are two controls for the mouse, two modes. Alright, alright. I unblank the screen. And also lock the keyboard is my second favorite one. So when I go back, I move the mouse. If I try to move it with the... Uh, or if I try to type, let's say, go up here. Can't type until I put this back. Unlock the keyboard. Now, all right. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> now let me show you everything else. Um, I get to do color quality. And the larger the quality, of course, is going to um, lag the iPod a lot more, even on local Wi-Fi. So if I did high quality, check that. Go back. Done. Alright, bring the quality back to auto. You get resolution, screen resolution to change. How the mouse moves. You can either do mouse moves, which of course I just showed you over here, is like this. You can zoom in with this little zoom in button. Oops. There's a little zoom in button. And you can move the mouse around like this. You can also let, like, throw it, kind of, and it automatically goes on its own. Or, we can do it. We can do it like this. Screen moves. And if you go out of the screen, it automatically pulls it back. And you can pinch zoom the whole screen, so if you want to move the mouse faster. Okay. Um, switch the mouse here to click. You just tap the screen once. Double click, you tap it twice. Um, to slide the bar. Like right here, for instance. Double tap and hold. And go down. Or up. And I'll go down. Right here is Control Alt Delete and Alt Tab. This is the keyboard. So if you ever need to type, of course. And then you got these buttons up here. Win is the start menu, which uh, takes a little bit. Okay. And to zoom out, just push the zoom out button. Turn it sideways too. Other settings are if you have more than one monitor, you just turn this on and then you shake the iPod to switch to the next monitor. Notifications. Um, this is when you blank the screen, it'll pop up a window telling you you blanked the screen so you don't accidentally do it and whoever's on the other side doesn't get all mad. Network speed, of course. Choose two options. I just leave it on auto. The keyboard. When you click this button up here, you come up with the F, the function keys. Escape, print screen, scroll lock, pause, home, page up all the necessary things. Then you got the arrow keys right here. So if you want to play um, an online game, that would be very hard, but I'm pretty sure it would work somewhere. Just, this is the, one of the greatest apps I've ever tried and I recommend it deeply. I, I'm not that good at reviewing apps at all, but I really try to, to do a good job at reviewing them because it's just how much I recommend applications like this and I either do it to help an application or to show how great, how greatly I love the app. I love the app. All right, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, and favorite.